I'm John Bradbury and welcome to John's Milk Testing Adventures. Here we are searching for history in pasture. Got some new fields to try out and I'm with my mate Stuart from Spinner Days. Hiya Stu. Hiya John. And I'm going to smile a lot today. I've been told that I don't <laughs> smile enough. <laughs> and what, uh, yeah. what machine have you brought today mate? I've, I've brought an old machine with me today and it's the racer. The racer? The racer oh, right. one, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So the we're going to have a bit of a race with the racer uh, against the 900 Equinox. So we'll just see what we pull out together. I'm sure we're going to have some fun. And the challenge is on. <laughs> Just this all here, what number was it on the racer? It was 68. 68, eh? Yep. And this is what we got out of there. Look, two coins, well done. Look so at that, do it. So, ah, so far out of that hole, eh? So far. Oh, three. Three, you got three. <laughs> That's two stuck together, that, Stuart. Yeah. And another one there. Yeah. That's three coins in we one hole. Up there as well, didn't we? A Victoria. That's a Victoria. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they'll be. There you go. It's a bit iffy, but if you dig it, because you've got to do because you've had some coins yeah. out. Yeah, I'm saying. I do the same thing. That's why it knocked me a little bit, because there were a single here and a single there. Mm. Let's see if there's a... Well, that's a bit to you it's now, isn't it? Looking good, looking good. Try pinpoint the first. Yeah, that's an idea, isn't it? I'll get it to maximum. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, it'd look good if it were hammered. Oop. Is it there? Could be like that. Yeah, that's deep. Look at that. Deep, isn't it? It is, yeah. The conditions are absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. No, John, in all fairness, it's just nice and damp. Oh, the conductivity is absolutely brilliant. We're still going down. We'll see how far we've gone down on this single coin. Because it's this. Well, if it's down there. Oh. Wow. That there, well, that will just, well I'll tell you how much deeper it is in a minute. That's, that's nine, isn't it? Be nine inches that, yeah. Oh, you got it? Yeah, look, oh look John, it's above there, so ten inches, I'd say oh, that yeah. one down. It's a coin, I can see it. There. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. That there. That is brilliant. That's ten inches. That's four coins down one area, isn't it? Yeah, no, that were there though. Yeah. So two different singles. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah. cracking man, eh? <laughs> well done, From the same pocket, though, well, I think so. I think that so. there, look at that, John. Yeah, it's there, and to there, it's nine. Yeah, which it is. Look, I'm it's about it's ten inches in it, easy. So it's ten inches You're down doing there, well there, mate. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, cracking. Is... So, therefore, there's got to be silver, isn't there? Something, I think you still got to do around here, mate. And there might be something else, yeah, there might be. Uh, but it shows you, John, in all fairness, the conditions. Perfect. Yeah, is absolutely brilliant yeah. today. Right, you better yeah. give it another go, man. <laughs> you got another, another one! one. <laughs> yeah. See, there That's were two brilliant. down there, Stuart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go, Penny. There you are. Uh, it's, it's, it's from the same one. Oh no, they were two no, together. They, they, they were from there, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, right, you better carry on, Stuart. There might be some, you know. We'll just try again. So I'm yes. out of there then now. Uh, five. We've well, reason to believe that that were joined, you know. I, I think it were joined, yeah. I think it fell out. Like it's... 
Oh, there's some more. No. In there? Yeah. Telling you. There is. There is. <laughs> this is a flipping big hole. There's got to be a silver monks out, Stuart. Come on, guy, get it out. Come on, lad. Yeah, I will. <laughs> what a day. What a what day. day. Oh, what a day. People would get him. Ah. No, it's back. Yeah, there it is. That's it. There's Stuart, here. Oh, we'll Go see on. it. There you are, Stuart. There it is. Another one. Yeah, another one. Six out of one oh. What have we got there? Jewelry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of jewelry there, Paul. There, John. Yeah. Look at that. That's. Cosmetic, but how does it go? Well, then? It's only cheap, it's only cheap, but hey, there might still, be some more down yeah, here. John. Yeah, yeah, I'll just put this. Oh, have you got it? What, what number were it then, Stuart? It were about 25. So there's a bit, a bit of else. cosmetic jewelry. Hey, it's yeah. a good sign, isn't it, pal? Yeah. Are we excited? Are we excited? <laughs> oh, it's a pewter spoon. Quite a big one as well. <laughs> big pewter spoon and all that. Well, that is. Clay pipe stem. So they've been smoking here, 16, 17 cents. What number was that, Stuart? I think it were about 78. 78. Um, we're making it what? Some mountain? Is it a brass mountain from a bed, probably, well, it could or be anything, furniture? John. It could be from a post or anything. Yeah, it's complete solid brass. Yeah, and so where this brass? Oh, where this muck? This brass. That's what they say. And so that's I'm afraid going to go into the brass department. Book it. it. Is. Fifty-five, a florin, of George VI. Fifty-five. Lunchtime, I would just thought we'd just give you a quick little count up on our, what me and Stu have found at the moment. We've just eaten, feeling better. We're all full of energy now, ready to get back for the second half. But in the meantime, let's show you what we've found so far, which has been quite exciting. Hasn't it, Stuart? It's been very good. Yeah, we've had a great time so far. So you, if you put down to your stuff then, Stuart, I mean, let's just have a quick look. Down there, Stu. Right, is it right, Stu? Here we go. Yeah, I'll start off with artifacts. Right, back of the watch. Oh, right. A hawker's whistle. It's oh, very nice. Right, it's just awesome, isn't it? Top of a gate. Brass. Ah. Small little rig. I don't know what that enables that for. Boot clasp. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Clock. Is it a clock clasp? Oh, it's a clock be. clasp, yeah, isn't it? Yes. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, button. Pewter but, button. Pewter button. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon, 18th century? It could be, yeah, it could be started. Uh, silver uh, button. Ah, it looks like religious, I think. It does, not it? Uh, Parts of the, uh, well, it could be a brooch. Yeah, it's cosmetic jewellery. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you've got all... We've just got 12 coins there. 12 coins of all different description. No silver. No silver just yet. But this is Victorian, Georgia Fifth, Georgia Third type of coins, aren't they? Yes, mate? that's it. Yeah. So twelve in total. That's correct. Okay, right. Here we go then. So, well, lunchtime. My my, my bits for lunchtime. Here we go then. Down here. Slowly going down. To spoon handle. Probably 18th, 19th century. Got a buckle. Uh, I think it's an harness buckle. Uh, I've just got these while I was digging. These are uh, what we call uh, clay pipe stems from clay pipes when you, smoke, when you smoke tobacco or whatever they used to smoke. So you're talking probably 16, 17, 18th century. They were in the hole while I was digging, whatever it was. And then we've got the coins there. We've got Edward the Seventh. Put a bit closer, it's short. Okay. Edward the Seventh. Victorian. Uh, and we've got that is a florin of George the Sixth. 
So with it being not silver, it's copper and nickel. It's probably 1947, 48 or 1950 onwards. Florin. Uh, and then we've got a large penny of George III. So really, uh, I've had uh, 11 coins, Stuart's had 12. So far, we're gonna go on the second half now and see if we can hunt that elusive silver. That's what we're after, some some silver. And boy, if we go on the field there, nobody's been on it and been really, really busy finding things in this field. So we're off back now. Ah, pewter spoon. Pewter spoon and about uh, 16, no, well, probably about 16, 17 or 18 century, around about that period. Pewter spoon. Teaspoon, in fact. So that was a tw 32 lead bit looped. I think it's some sort of, I don't know, weight. I think it could be a weight thing, I think. I'm not really sure. But with a piece of lead, it's, I'm not sure, sure about this artifact. But it's going in the weight, the weight bucket, I'm afraid. So, what have you got there, Stuart? I think it comes from an oxen with the shape. Oxen, the oxen, small, yeah, yeah. It's a smaller which, hoof, which, isn't it? And of course, the Roman juice seals. And there. Roman juice seals. All yeah. oh, right, look at that, eh? So yeah. it could, it could be Roman, a Roman oxen shoe. Quite easily. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hope we find Roman today, mate. Petrol cab, solid brass. Pat. Petrol cap, probably 1950s. Now this is a quite a old pewter spoon, 16th century. Quite an old one, really. Very old one. Yeah, Mr. Pottery, look at that. 1950s, I think. Cup. What this is? There's something in that old. I don't know what it is. 47 <laughs> Oh yes A coin Yeah it's uh, oh it's in it's in bloody cracking condition all it's it's Edward the seventh in brought in bronze Bronze. Well, after all that hard work, I managed to get a silver. <laughs> it's only a Georgia fit, six pence, 1921. But we got a silver at least. A lot of other coins and artifacts, but that's the only silver that came up. But better than nothing. So there you go. It's a full lot of what I found today. 27 coins, pennies. All sorts of things really. So, and then we got the silver. So, Georgia, Georgia third, Georgia fifth, Edward the seventh, mixture of all kinds of different artifacts, pewter spoons, petrol cap, and bits and bats. So we got James uh, shooting the sheep. The expert in action. Please vote and max out of 10. Not very good for this one. <laughs> so here we go, Abby in action here now. Yes, I think we're looking at 9 out of 10 there, Abby. Pretty good. You got a job. <laughs> 